Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Electric potential energy and the potential. This is a practice question four. In this question, I'm going to show you an example to see what the difference with electric field strength E and electric potential V. Let's say Let's see this question. So they're looking for the electric field strength E and the electric potential V at the center of a square, at the center. What is the electric field strength? Let's say this center, we put point A. Looking at this point, what is the electric field strength E and the electric potential V? And the side is 35.4. Each side is 35.4 centimeters. Each side is square. Produced by equal charge of negative 7 nanocoulomb at four cor corners. So each corner you have negative 7 nanocoulomb. So the Q equals, so we can say if you put the Q1, you call it Q2. You call Q3, you call Q4. So Q1 equals Q2, you call Q3, you call Q4, you call negative 7 times 10 to the negative 9 coulomb. And the side, each side is 35.4 centimeter. In this case, first we talk about what is electric field strength. Electric field strength is, by definition, right? Is if I put a test charge to see the force divided the test charge, describe how strong is the electric field. An electric field strength E is a vector. This is a vector. So when we're looking for a vector, we need to find the magnitude and direction, both magnitude and the direction. So, looking for potential, electric potential V, V is scalar. So, which only have magnitude. But this magnitude, we need to consider if positive or negative. So, we have positive or negative, right? Positive or negative depend on the charge. So let's first uh, talk about electric field strength as vector. The magnitude is, f formula is E equals, because the point charge is equals K Q over R squared. and the Q for each of them. So we're looking for the electric field strength at this point, we need to consider. At this point, the electric field E is contributed by four of them. Because both four of them has, uh, have same charge and also distance in the center, the same distance, same distance. From from the Q to the center, they have equal distance. Equal distance. That's why they have same magnitude from each of the charge. We can draw a vector. Let's say at the point A, if they say the electric field strength contributed by Q one, the Q one is negative. That's what the field line is towards 
So that's why the E is go this way. Toward the Q, say E1. And E2 is the fuse line is towards E2, which is this E2. And E3, the fuse line is towards Q3. That's why this is E3. And E4 is towards Q4 with E4. And because we say magnitude is E1 equals E2 equals E3 equals E4. And the direction we can say E1 and E4 they have opposite direction as vector these two vectors cancel out each other. E2 and E3 also same magnitude opposite direction that's why these two also cancel out each other. So as a result at the point A the EA equals E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4 because E1, E4 the opposite direction one, if one is positive one is negative it can be cancelled out and E2, E3 also opposite direction same magnitude that's why the, at the point A in this case the electric field strength equals zero The next we consider what is the electric potential V at the point A. So you can see we still can draw this is the negative Q1 negative Q2 and the Q3 and the Q4 and we're looking for in the center A. so because the potential is scaling I only have magnitude and in this case because at the point A the potential is contributed by four of them Let's consider Q1. The VA at the, this point from Q1 equals K multiply Q over R. This is Q1. The distance is, which is the label R, because the reason is whatever the A go to Q1 or Q2, Q3, Q4, all same. So that's why we just put R. And because the Q is negative, that's why we got the negative potential. Okay? And this one is K is 9 times 10 to the 9 exponent. And multiply Q. Q is, we already put the negative here. So we will not put the negative here now. 7 times 10 to the negative 9 colon divide the R the R is related to 35.4 centimeters and looking for R let's say first looking for R on this side okay because if this is uh, we're looking for R this is the R this is the R so this one because is square, that's why this one is isosceles right triangle with 90 degree here, 45, 45. That's why we using Pythagorean theorem is a r square plus r square, which is r square plus another r square, you call 35.4 square. 
and you have 2r squared equals 35.4 squared and so r squared equals 35.4 squared divided by 2 which will give us r squared equals 25.03 because we only have one single figure we don't need so many that so let's do just uh, approximate at the 25 square because r square 25 and then we can find what is r so r equals actually uh, after i calculate R equals 25. After square root, we got R equals 25. So we can put 25 here. But we convert to, this is centimeter, we convert to meter is 0 0.25, right? So now we have the A1 equals this situation. We got the uh, answer. We got uh, this one should be uh, and V equals is 2.52. We got negative 2.52 volts. And this is VA1. So same thing. You can calculate the VA2, which is the potential is from Q2. At this point, we apply same formula, which is equals KQ2 divided R. You get the same thing because same Q, same distance. We got negative 2.52 volts. Same VA3. You call V A four. You call negative two point five two volts. So that's why we see the V A is all together because scalar no direction, just add together, and the four of them all negative. That's why at this point the volt, the electric potential is negative, which is four times negative 2.52 volts because you can add four of them or multiply four the answer gives you a 10.08 volts it almost equals negative 10 volts so this question just show you what the difference with field strength and uh, potential, electric potential, which is at this point. This is presented by Five Skies. Thank you very much.